you should always try u substitution on pretty much any integral problem. It may be that you don't even need to write it down. You try, I'm going to try u equals sine of x. The derivative of that is cosine, so this would mean that the du would be cubed, which makes absolutely no sense. The dx is just a way of saying I'm integrating with respect to x. To cube that makes no sense, so my choice of u equals sine is not a good idea. Try cosine. Another gu guiding principle for the use of substitution is whatever is the innermost function, this one is inside of a cube and it's also inside a fraction, and that is probably a good idea for the u. So then the derivative is going to be negative sine of x. The idea is to get this and this to match perfectly. Other than a negative sign, we've got it. So just multiply both sides by a negative 1. And then it's ready for u substitution. So it's going to be integrate. The top is going to be negative du, but the negative I'll just factor out. And the bottom is cosine cubed, so that's u cubed. And then if we just rewrite this as integrating u to the negative 3, then you can use the power rule for integration. Add 1 to the exponent, that's going to become u to the negative 2, and then divide by that number. And now that we've integrated, plus the constant of integration. Next, we need to, for 1, get rid of the two negatives. They cancel. We can also rewrite this as 1 over 2u squared. You shouldn't leave any negative exponents. And finally, replace u with what it's equal to, which is that cosine of x. So the answer is 2 cosine squared in the denominator, and then a plus c.